Hey, good morning, guys. It's Alicia here. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me to get more detail on what the 3D UV actually is. There's also a 3D fiber. So I kind of want to go over some basics real quick. This is just going to be a quick and dirty uh, demo. Not really a demo, but an overview. Um, so stick with me here. I'll make a better video later. So this is um, a standard kind of Galvo machine that you guys are used to seeing. That's the a fiber. This is a UV. We've got another one here from Thunder. This is a fiber. And this is a CO2 Galvo. And these are all on a 2D plane. And what I mean by that is you, if you're going to engrave something, you would stick your item here. And then you would adjust your, your Z depth <clears throat> here. And then you get the right focus for this piece of material. You're using lenses, right? Different lenses. This one's a 200, but there's a 100 in here. So depending on what you're doing, you choose your lens, you get your Z depth, and then you do your framing and you go, right? So 2D. So if you're wanting to do a cup or something round, then you need to either just do a flat part of it or you would put a rotary on here. You can have chuck rotaries or you can have roller, standard rotary rotaries. And so that's how you would typically do a regular old 2D Galvo. Same kind of concept over here on the fiber. You raise and lower your Z depth to get your focal point. You have different type lenses that you can put in here and you can do different material. If you're gonna do rotary, you can stick on a chuck or you know a, a rotoboss rotary. And then you would roll your cup around and engrave that. Same on this one, right? So now let's go over here to this 3D uh, UV that, that I just got in. And, and I'm still learning a lot about this, but I want to explain to you the little bit of the differences here. And let me give one more thing. This drawer here is full of lenses for all of these machines, right? So each time I want to use a different depth, I have to put in a different lens for each of these machines. So this machine here is a 3D UV, and it has multiple lenses built in here, okay? So I don't have to change out lenses, so it's got I think I have a, a 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and a 600. And I'm going to explain to you why this is such a cool machine and, and how it it's, will kind of be a game changer and why I bought it. With the UV, what I was finding is I was having problems getting around some of the curves. So the tolerance is really tight. So if you're doing like a crystal or something like this, it's not perfectly flat. You think it is, but it really isn't. And sometimes you would get great engraves and sometimes you'd be like, oh man, it missed a part of the curve. So the reason why I got this is because it was supposed to be much better for those points. And I want to give you kind of an explanation of what I'm doing here and hopefully it'll, it'll set in on why this is a different kind of machine and why it's cool. This is a 60 ounce beer pitcher, right? And it's, it's, got, it's tapered, so it's got different dimensions from top to bottom. If I was going to put this on a rotary, which I have, I did several on the other UV, I put it on a rotary and then I'd get it to a flat kind of a 2D space and I would rotate it. And it worked fine, but you can see the glass is not always the same. It's not symmetrical actually when they make glass. So sometimes I would have spots in the, in the engrave that didn't, didn't engrave and I'm like, dang it, what do I do? And I have to get another picture and chunk it. Well, what this machine does is it allows you to take this object and we're going to model it in the software so we're going to create a version of this in the software and then we're going to attach our design in the software onto this and then we're going to burn it so let me come over here to this software what i've done here sorry about the sound is i created a model of that actual 60 ounce beer mug and i'm going to click this and rotate it around so you can see so I've created the dimensions. I added the, the top and the bottom and how long it was. And then it, it's, it's drawn kind of the surface area that we're going to put our design to. Then I put in my name just as a simple kind of deal. I'm gonna look at this from this, the right side now. I put my name in here and what I've done is I then threw my name onto the model. So I've attached or I wrapped my name around this beer, this beer pitcher. And now what's gonna happen is I'm not gonna do the engrave, but if I was, 
this engrave, and I can look at it, that's a top view. This is bottom view, uh, but I really like using the, the model view. This engrave will wrap around, so the laser is going to start. Now that I've given it the dimensions of the, the picture and where my logo needs to be, or my name, it has dynamic sensors in there that will change the focus as it goes around this this uh, engrave so it knows that that a is a lot further down on the left side of that picture and it'll start engraving and as it goes around the top of the picture it'll adjust the depth and the focal distance the and the power that it needs to to go around to make that engrave okay so what would happen if, it's, if I said go it's going to start engraving and it's going to track all the way around and it will 3d and it'll use 3d modeling to engrave this and I can keep going and get as deep as I want or, you know, get the quality that I want. And that is what's cool about this because I could not do this on a 2D version. And the other thing that's nice about it is you have this additional uh, rotation here. It's, it's a dial that you can, as it's engraving and it's going around, you can continue to fine tune this and get, you know, stronger or less, or less strength of a, of a engrave of your signal and you can tune it as it's going live. It's actually pretty dang cool. And then the other benefit is, let's say I wanted to go from a 200 millimeter lens to a six, so I wanna make something bigger. Then I just go over here in the software and I tell it uh, machine settings. And then I say, okay, I wanna use a different lens core file. So let's go ahead and use the 500. And then once I tell it that this machine knows to make adjustments in its lens um, area here that now we're using the bigger lens. I don't have to swap anything out. So just wanted to give kind of an overview of the 3D machine and what it can do. And it's pretty cool. Uh, let me go back here. You can do spheres, cups, balls, all kinds of things. And you can do regular 2D engraving as well. But if you're doing a lot of glass work, let's say you've got, you know, funky wine shaped or uh, wine glasses or things like that or you're trying to do baseballs and you want to wrap around it further you can do that in here and that's why it's it's kind of a, a cool tool to have it is a bit more on the higher end expense and you don't have light burn uh, this is a new software that you're going to have to learn but anyway once you get it down it's pretty cool and uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what it was there's not a lot of material out there that i've seen and people are asking me so thought i would do a little quick video this morning. Have a good one.